Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have invited Rohan. So hello Rohan, thank you, thank you for accepting my invitation. So could you please give us your quick introduction so that our viewer will get to know about you? Uh, hi Amrita, currently uh, I see two at uh, Oracle Clouds and previously I worked at uh, DCS and I graduated last year from Delhi Technology University where my major was in biotechnology. So that's great. So being from biotechnology, you have achieved a lot. Like, uh, like it, I I can understand that it would it would be very difficult for you to switch from biotechnology to computer science domain. So could you please share that? What are some difficulty you faced, or how you prepared for a uh, computer science being from biotechnology background? Okay, so the uh, like the first thing is uh, you should have this uh, genuine interest in computer science. So if you don't have that, then uh, no need to uh, move from non-tech to a technical background to a computer science, uh, things like that. Actually. So the very first thing you should start with is uh, like the core fundamentals. Like you should start with operating system. You should know how processors uh, work, like how the scheduling algorithm and all. Then you should go with uh, networking. So like the TCP, UDP layers, how internet works, how packets are sent, and how are they scheduled, again, things like that. Then there is, uh, we have DBMS also. So these core subjects needs to be uh, there. Like for DBMS, you should know what cardinality is or what normal forms, asset properties, types of databases. And uh, after this, uh, uh, you should be like curious by nature. Like you should know how to, uh, how numbers are represented in computers. And once all this, the fundamentals are uh, like aligned up, then you start with what SDLC lifecycle is all about. So, so it's completely different things. So once at one part you are uh, in bio background and at another part of your life, you're preparing to change your branch and get into a software domain. So that is a, a difficult task. And uh, once all these, uh, like the first part of fundamentals are clear, the foundation is almost ready. The next part of foundation is towards the software development life cycle, then high level design, low level design, things like that. So once all this uh, theoretical part is clear, you should start with that hello world application, that legendary application, which uh, everybody is aware of. Uh, then comes the data structure part. So that is uh, completely differently. So the first step is to clear up all these uh, fundamentals. Then when it comes to data structure, you should first start with uh, selecting a programming language like uh, C++ or Java. When it comes to Java, then you would be able to build uh, a good scalable projects and all. But when it comes to C++, then the resources are uh, very less. So if you are starting with Java and then you need to prepare for DSA and all. So you should start with first collections, then uh, stream APIs, then how are uh, how to make objects and relation between objects and all. Uh, if you are uh, starting with the C++, then you should first start with like the basics, the array as arrays and all. And uh, then comes STL, standard template library. So over there you will learn how to use uh, dynamic arrays, sets, map, things like that. Uh, so these are the fundamentals of uh, like uh, what you need for uh, language proficiency. And then again, proficiency builds up with problem solving. So problem solving, you should start with, like there is two types of approach. Uh, one is like you should go in width and other one is go in height. So like go in depth. So when you are just starting with this uh, data structures and algorithm problem solving, so uh, you should go with width. Like uh, you should not uh, do like, uh, okay, so this is uh, dynamic programming. I'm going to clear up all the 170 problems that I have in the list. So that should not be approached uh, if you are just a beginner. So first start with width part, like, uh, and that to basics, like uh, how to how do I make a linked list or how do I make a tree? Then tree traversal, how do I make a stack? And what problems do I face? What are the edge cases? So that, that curiosity should be there. So once all this uh, you are able to make, then you should start with problem solving first, start with easy level. Then uh, I would say uh, recursion is the best thing. So after some time, you should get uh, really proficient in recursion because after recursion, you would be able to solve trees, uh, graph problems. You would be able to uh, do that DFS, BFS, that, uh, that uh, most important thing that you have. 
Yeah, so like uh, whatever roadmap you have shared, like uh, I think you have covered each and every point, like uh, from uh, computer fundamental to system designing to the DSA. So it's really important, like, and especially the last point you shared that uh, we should start with, uh, like, uh, how we should start doing uh, preparation for the data structure and algorithm, and that is really a good, uh, good advice. So uh, as I know that you cleared. Uh, Oracle and currently working at Oracle. So could you please yes. share your interview experience of Oracle with our audience? Uh, it's just like uh, other tech giants. So we have screening and then we have four to five rounds of uh, um, tech uh, interview. So it's more on problem solving. So the interview is <laughs> just like other tech giants, like nothing, uh, nothing great. So they test for, yes, your attitude, your poor quality, and you should think out loud and uh, whether or not you are curious, like the interviewer intentionally hides the the details which is required to do uh, that problem solving. So uh, suppose uh, you are not thinking of uh, edge case where numbers can be negative, but when you are implementing the code, so that time you assume that numbers are negative. So that is not something which uh, you should do. So you should first uh, clear out all the assumptions that you have, and then you should first design and uh, design your solution. Provide that abstraction, like instead of uh, coding out everything in one function, you should abstract that logic, that small complex logic into another function. So this makes the code readable. Use good variable naming and uh, Yes, and attitudes is the most important part. So you should be curious. So because everybody knows, like if we give some time, then uh, anyone would be able to learn. But that thing, like uh, if I give this candidate uh, two months of preparation time, like uh, two months into the system, will he be able to capture it? Like, like if what if like uh, he give up? So so that is the biggest fear that uh, recruiters or interviewer have. So attitudes is important. And then comes the other aspect like uh, code quality, good variable naming, abstraction of knowledge, abstraction of code, and uh, thinking out loud, stuff like that. Yeah, so like the things that you have said, it's not only apply for vehicle, like if you are applying for yes. any product based company, then you should prepare like this. So like, as I know that you worked at TCS also and currently working at a really good company Oracle. So could you please say what are some work different that you like, uh, what are some difference, like whatever the different kind of work you were getting in the TCS and now whatever work you are getting. I'm not going into the detail of this, just uh, like overview that how one should focus on uh, like uh, uh, work that person can get in the service company and the, that person uh, work that person can get in the product based company okay so for tcs uh like prepare for unexpected like you can work on uh, on just the customer service or you can work on the pure development you can work on machine learning you can work on web development or you can uh, work on some some back end uh, like uh, outdated technologies most of them are outdated it's either COBOL or uh, or uh, uh, F sharp or C sharp dot net VB dot net. So those technologies are there in TCS, and uh, even if it's uh, development in those technologies, then it's not going to benefit uh, in in market because like people are moving from those technologies. Like where would you use VB dot net in in today's world? Like we are just supporting it because uh, essentially our services are still running vb.net, some of the essential services. So I was working for uh, a big uh, company, uh, like the vendor was a uh, really big org. So over there, I was uh, supporting an application in vb.net for some time and then moved to JavaScript. So, so it's, it's kind of like mixed feeling. And, uh, and I was working on very, very small part, like, uh, like you have a big application divided into different modules, then a particular module. So I was working for the database management in DCS. So when I moved to this OCI, then things were completely different, like completely next level thing. So all the, like first was uh, the complete change of tech stack. So I was not familiar with Java. So then, and the entire development was done here in Java. I was not aware of what API spec is, what Swagger is, or uh, or like, like like the entire Java stuff, like entire Spring Boot and all. 
so it like the the connecting my learning curve is at peak so so yes it's, it's going great <laughs> i'm yeah. really excited to work with the sock and uh, it's great experience so far like over there it was completely different and over here i'm just thinking some i'm making them uh, next level uh, cloud yeah so like uh, yeah. this is really great insight about this so i think you have shared almost all the point and i have asked my question from my side so i want to end this video with some notes like what are some advice you want to give the student that is currently preparing for product based company so again if you are from a completely non tech background then first is this uh, os dbms networking and all and if you are already familiar with these things then you can start with the data structures prepare a side project get to know about what version control is start the uh, open source contribution prepare uh, prepare for interviews start giving mock interviews uh, yes that's it yeah so yeah this is really important advice like you should not only focus on dsa you should focus on uh, all aspect of computer science like computer fundamental open source development like you can uh, yeah of course you have to prioritize dsa first but along with that you should focus on other uh, aspect of computer science also so that's all about this video thank you so much thank you for watching this video and i will put uh, like a row on linkedin uh, id in the description so you can check out that also yeah so thank you so much so friends this channel is brought to you by newton school newton school is a very good platform which helps you in the software industry in job lene mein help karti hai. newton school is going to new batch start hone wali hai, jiski, uh, like join karne ki registration link you will get description pe mil jayegi. so you description check kar sakte ho. Pe jo first link hai, wo link pe click karke, aap newton school ke new batch ko join kar sakte ho. and if you want explore karna hai ki newton school ke jo previous student hai, mein kya record raha hai, abhi कंपनी में प्लेस्ड है या न्यूटन स्कूल में आपको कौन-कौन से कंपनी की टाई अप है ये सब कुछ आप चेक कर सकते हो न्यूटन स्कूल के वेबसाइट पे जाके जिसकी लिंक आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएगी सो so, मैं एक रफ एस्टीमेट बताती हूं कि अभी न्यूटन स्कूल का 150 प्लस कंपनी से टाई अप है जिसमें कि न्यूटन स्कूल आपको प्लेसमेंट लेने में हेल्प कर सकती है सो यू कैन चेक आउट द लिंक ऑफ न्यूटन स्कूल एंड यू कैन चेक आउट डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर दैट